I want to give you a little demonstration of our brand new uh, computerized map cutter. So this is what it looks like. We actually have it right as soon as you come into our store. If you ever want to see a demo, come on over. But a computerized map cutter really enables us to do just about any design. Just an example that we cut. Uh, this is going to be for a shadow box. We can do, you know, double mats. We can do single mats. These are actually two different mats that when you stack them together, this is sort of what you get. So we can do multiple openings. It doesn't, they don't have to be rectangular openings. We can do ovals. We can do, you know, custom cuts, as you can see right there. Uh, but I actually want to show you a demonstration. We have a, a custom frame project that we're working on, and I'll show you what it entails. So here's a project that we're working on, and it's actually a, a print uh, that came from a painting by the famous uh, Greg Olson. And this is what it looks like here. And so um, what we're going to do is we're going to use, we're going to do a uh, custom matting design where we're going to use these two mats. The bottom one is a, a sort of a shiny uh, gold mat that's going to, you know, help us add some light uh, to, this, to this art. And you can see the arches right there. They have a lot of light, so we're going we're gonna to bring it out as well. And then the top one is sort of a texturized mat that's going to complement the, you know, the structures around the art that you see there. And, you know, one of the things, I mean, you know, anybody can do a rectangular double mat that would sort of sit on the outside of this art, just like so. Uh, but for the purpose of this, you know, we want to add a little bit of creative design so we're actually going to design these arches that you see the one the one in the middle and then the one on the right so let me show you what that looks like on the software application that we use for the computerized mat cutter so this is our software application that we use and as you can see on the left hand side there are you know your basic shapes the rectangular uh, shape the oval a couple of uh, you know custom corners around and so forth but I actually went ahead and started designing and there's really not a whole lot we can't do you know we could do those arches right there that you see there's one the one in the middle actually goes a little higher and then the one on the right is just about the same height as the one on the left and I did um, a little a little addition to the right and to the left just to show a little bit more of the art and then at the bottom we're going to use we're going to do an opening so we could show the plaque um, that I showed you at the beginning so from here you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hit the cut button and you could see the design there and then from here um, again we're going to hit the cut option and then I'm going to head over to the machine so I could load up the the mats and, and show you what the cut is going to look like. So these are the two mat boards that we're going to use. Again, the texturized one goes on top and then the bright gold one goes on the bottom and we can actually cut um, both of them at the same time. What it does is along the way it'll stop and it allows me to remove the the opening pieces so i'm going to go ahead and remove this top piece and now what it does is it's going to go ahead and start cutting the bottom mat which is a gold mat 
about a quarter of an inch separation between the two. And it's also going to do the top opening for the plaque. And now it's going to finish the cut. This is the external cut. I'm going to cut it exactly to the size that I told it to. It is a 16 by 20 and it stops right there and I can start to remove the uh, you know the opening the waste so this is how easy it slides out I'm gonna take the top mat here you can see the little piece uh, came out all by itself this is the top mat Take this one off. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and work on the bottom mat. It's gonna lift it lightly here. And you can see the top, the opening just comes off pretty easily. And here's the bottom one, bottom mat. I'm gonna take it over to the design table and we'll see what they look like when we stack them together. Okay, so here are the uh, two mats stacked together. As you can see, the cuts are perfect around the edges. This is not an easy cut. I mean, these are arches that are a little bit or a lot more difficult than, um, you know, cutting a rectangular mat. Here's the top opening for the plaque and then no opening for the bottom. Obviously, that's where the plaque is going to sit. So beautiful work. And now uh, we're going to take a look at what it looks like on top of the art. Okay, so here it is. Uh, there's the art at the bottom, the two mats, the plaque already in place. And we have this beautiful gold frame that we're going to use. I'm going to go ahead and set it over it so you could see. Okay, so here is the final product. I have already uh, mounted everything and added the, um, we're actually using Optium acrylic, which is just like museum, completely clear, and it doesn't scratch and it doesn't shatter. Uh, so we put the very best here. Uh, but you can see the gold frame, just beautiful frame all around. And again, the art is just amazing by Greg Olson. Um, and of course, you know, in this video, we're talking about the uh, custom map design. So you could see, hopefully you could see how much light really adds to the art piece when you look at it, uh, even from far away. It just looks pretty amazing. I'm going to take a, another angle at it. So you could see right there. And then one final sort of far away uh, angle. But there it is. We started from um, really just a piece of art that needed a nice custom mat design and uh, showed you what it looks like on the computer, showed you the cut. And again, this is just one of many mat designs that we could do here at uh, Hakez Art and Custom Framing. So thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for future products that we're going to be working on and also sharing with our customers. Thank you.